Hello and welcome back to Tub Channel, Psychology Vibes. This video offers a fascinating dive into the hidden, nonverbal world of romantic attraction, breaking down subtle signals that can indicate a man is into you, even if he's not openly expressing it. According to body language expert Patty Wood, nonverbal cues can sometimes be more telling than words when it comes to figuring out someone's inner emotions. For anyone who's trying to read the signs and interpret a guy's behavior, paying attention to body language can be incredibly insightful. In relationships, especially at the beginning, the ability to understand these cues can feel almost like unlocking a secret code. Does his smile mean he's genuinely interested? Is his nervous energy a sign of affection or simply awkwardness? Let's explore the 34 signals listed in the video that shed light on these questions, helping you decode whether a guy is secretly into you. 34 Body Language Signs A Guy Likes You But Is Trying Not To Show It Psychology Vibes 1. Open Posture a guy displaying open body language, feet shoulder width apart, arms uncrossed, relaxed shoulders, and an unclenched jaw is showing you he feels comfortable in your presence. This openness is like an unspoken invitation, signaling that he's physically and emotionally available to you. In many ways, his body is saying, I'm here, and I'm ready to connect. Question to ask, is his open posture truly a sign of interest, or is he just a naturally relaxed person? 2. Visible Hands if a man keeps his hands visible, rather than hiding them in his pockets or behind his back, it can indicate trust and openness. When he's interested, he subconsciously wants to show that he's got nothing to hide. Thought-provoking angle, could the placement of his hands actually reflect his comfort level around you? Wouldn't hiding them signify a barrier he's not quite ready to lower? 3. Head tilting. Tilting his head slightly to one side is a sign of curiosity and attentiveness. It shows that he's engaged in the conversation and interested in what you have to say. Engaging question, is this head tilt intentional or purely subconscious? Could it also signal a habit or even nervousness? 4. Relaxed breathing. A slower, relaxed breathing pattern can be a sign that he's feeling comfortable and secure in your presence. The more relaxed he is, the more genuine his connection to you might be. Deeper dive, does his relaxed breathing actually signal affection? Or could it indicate that he's simply good at staying calm under pressure? 5. Clammy hands. Sweaty palms may seem like a turn-off, but it's actually a biological reaction to nervousness. This could be his body's way of signaling that he doesn't want to mess things up with you. Question to consider. Could clammy hands signal excitement or nervousness equally? Depending on the context, how would you differentiate between the two? 6. Accidental touching. Whether he's grazing your hand under the table or his foot taps yours, Accidental touches are usually not accidents at all. They suggest that he's seeking physical closeness without crossing boundaries. What if, could this type of contact be playful or innocent in nature rather than flirtatious? How can you tell the difference? 7. Fidgeting with his necktie. Adjusting or playing with his necktie is a telltale sign of nervousness. The throat area is connected to vulnerability, so this behavior might indicate he's feeling exposed, especially in your presence. Curious observation. Is this behavior reserved for situations where he's romantically interested? Or could it be a general nervous habit? 8. Stumbling over words. When a guy who's normally articulate starts stumbling over his words around you, it's a clear sign that he's flustered. This nervous energy might suggest he's trying hard to impress you, and his brain is moving faster than his mouth. Question to explore. Is his sudden awkwardness a result of attraction? Or could it be a sign of deeper insecurities? 9. Flushed face. Blushing or a flushed face can happen when his adrenaline spikes in your presence. This is often an involuntary response to romantic attraction, signaling excitement or stress. Engagement thought, could a flushed face be misinterpreted as embarrassment or discomfort, rather than attraction? 10. Standing close. If he's standing within inches of you, it's a sign that he's comfortable with, or even craves, physical proximity. This closeness suggests that he's drawn to you and isn't afraid to share personal space. Interesting consideration, is his need for physical closeness purely attraction? Or could it stem from cultural or personal habits around space? 11. Dilated pupils. When someone's pupils dilate, it's a biological response to something they find attractive. If his pupils are large when he looks at you, he's probably into you. Fascinating detail, could this be affected by lighting or other environmental factors? How reliable is pupil dilation as a sign of attraction? 12. Eyebrow raises. A quick raise of his eyebrows upon seeing you can signal surprise and delight. It's a subtle but telling sign that he's pleased by your presence and wants to interact more. Intriguing thought, 
can eyebrow raises also indicate other emotions, like confusion or surprise, rather than attraction? 13. Smiling with front teeth. Men often stop showing their front teeth in casual smiles after childhood. If he's grinning wide and showing off his teeth, it's a sign that he's genuinely happy and comfortable around you. Fun consideration, does a full-toothed smile necessarily mean deep interest, or could it just indicate that he's having a particularly good day? 14. Genuine smile. A real smile reaches the eyes, causing a slight squint and a lift in the forehead. If his smile looks genuine, it's a sign that he's enjoying himself and probably enjoys your company. 2. Question to ponder. Could you mistake a practiced or polite smile for a genuine one? And how can you tell the difference? 15. Licking his lips. Licking his lips could indicate he's attracted to you. It's a subconscious reaction to increased saliva production caused by excitement or nervousness. Interesting take. Could lip licking sometimes come across as more of a nervous tick, even if the intent is romantic? 16. Looking at your face, not just your eyes. While locking eyes might feel intense, scanning the whole face eyes, nose, lips can be a sign that he's interested in you but doesn't want to overwhelm you with eye contact. Engaging thought, in a world where prolonged eye contact can feel awkward, does looking around your face show that he's interested without making it too obvious? 17. Deep breaths. When a man subconsciously takes a deep breath upon seeing you, it's often his body's way of subtly trying to make himself appear more attractive by expanding his chest. Fascinating twist, could deep breaths sometimes be about nerves or anticipation rather than attraction? 18. Immediate physical contact, the moment he sees you. He wants to engage, whether it's through a hug, handshake, or just a long gaze. This suggests you're a priority to him, and he's eager to connect. Question to explore, could a desire for physical contact reflect other emotions, such as comfort or habit, instead of romantic interest? 19. Leaning in, leaning in during conversations, even when it's not noisy, signals interest in what you have to say. It's a way of creating intimacy and closeness without physical contact. Engagement question, could leaning in sometimes be more about active listening than romantic attraction? What's the difference? 20. Hands on hips. This classic power pose shows confidence and, if aimed at you, signals he's interested in gaining your attention. He's trying to take up more space, making himself more noticeable. Intriguing angle, could this be a sign of self-assuredness in general, or is it specifically meant to attract romantic attention? By breaking down these signals, we see that interpreting body language requires nuance. Could some of these signs be misinterpreted or have alternative meanings based on context, culture, or personality? Understanding these cues can offer a fascinating glimpse into someone's inner world, but it's also crucial to remember that no one sign stands alone. Together, they form a more complete picture of someone's feelings. What's your take on these signals? Have you ever caught yourself analyzing someone's body language to figure out their feelings?